Hello and welcome to Sam Dan's Couch. This is an update about my broken Steam Deck, how I got it fixed and how long the whole process took. In my last Steam Deck video, I showed you how my screen got damaged and what to watch out for when handling and storing the deck. Shortly after, I found this picture on Reddit where the delivery person supposedly drove over the Steam Deck. Interesting though how the Steam Deck screen damage from this instance is exactly at the same spot where my Steam Deck got damaged from a falling item. When I discovered that my Steam Deck was not going to recover from its trauma by any household tricks, like rubbing the screen or rebooting the unit, I contacted Valve. I told them exactly what happened and asked them if they could help me getting my screen repaired. I also included pictures of the damage in my request. Within an hour and no further questions asked, I got a reply from Valve telling me they are going to RMA my deck, which means that they take my broken Steam Deck back and ship me a new unit. All they needed was my phone number and in another hour I got a UPS return PDF label in my email. Absolutely fantastic! And I have to say that Valve went over the top and beyond of customer support and customer satisfaction. Thank you Valve for being amazing. For an RMA, you have to first return the deck itself, the case and also the power adapter. I sent off my Steam Deck on the 25th of July and it took exactly a week until it arrived at the Valve warehouse. Five days later, on August the 6th, I got an email from Valve that they are preparing my Steam Deck to be shipped out again. And four days later I had my Steam Deck back in my hands. So the whole process took for me two weeks and three days. Here I am quickly unboxing my replacement deck. Now I was excited as well as a little bit worried again because I got a brand new Steam Deck but it could also mean I could get a deck with a loud fan, bubbles under the screen, broken pixels or faulty buttons like some customers reported. And voila, back in action. And I'm happy to report that so far so good, everything seems to be fine. I even got an SSD with four lanes, which is great. Some come with two lanes only, though no speed differences are reported. When you first set up a new Steam Deck, it automatically updates to the latest SteamOS version. No choice given and unfortunately, as of early August, SteamOS 3.3 has a bug that makes some games run worse than before 3.3. I booted up Tomb Raider and Fall Guys and I was shocked that the games run slower and even show signs of heavy stuttering. Thankfully I knew that 3.3 is broken right now. I updated to the beta branch of SteamOS and my deck was back in action, giving me the breathtaking performance in my games I was used to before this latest OS version. I am sure the update with its fixes is going into the regular SteamOS update rotation very soon. But if you happen to have OS 3.3, you should consider going to the beta build for a few weeks. So the fun can continue with the Steam Deck and I will make sure to make more content in the future now that I have my device back. I'll handle my deck even more careful now than before and I can't wait to try out many more games and take my games to go. If you have any problems with your Steam Deck, don't hesitate to contact Valve support first. They are awesome and very helpful. Thank you for watching and if you would like to see more of these videos and more cool tech and games, please consider liking and subscribing to this channel. Until then, stay safe with your Steam Deck and enjoy! See you next time on Sam Dance Couch!